this video, let's learn about the tetralogy of the phallet. The tetralogy of the phallet comes under the congenital heart diseases or the abnormality of the heart which is present at the birth. It mainly comes under the shunt group of the abnormalities of the heart and in that it comes in the right to left shunt of the heart or the synotic group. The tetralogy of the phallet is the most common synotic congenital heart disease which is found in 10% of the children with anomalies of the heart. So it is the most common that accounts for about 10% of the children with the heart anomalies. And what are the features included in the tetralogy of the phallet? There are mainly four features that is why the name came as the tetralogy. The four features are the ventricular septal defect or the shunt, the displacement of the iota to the right side, the pulmonary stenosis or the obstruction and the right ventricular hypertrophy. So let's see it in a diagram. In this diagram, this is the superior vena cava, this is the inferior vena cava, this is the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left ventricle, this is the left atrium, this is the pulmonary trunk, this is the iota or the arch of iota, these are the pulmonary veins and this is the starting of the iota. So the teratology includes four conditions in that the first condition is the ventricular septal defect. So this is the ventricular septal defect. The first one is the VSD that is the ventricular septal defect. As you can see the defect in the septum of this ventricle. This is also called as the shunt. And the another feature is the displacement of the iota to the right side so that the iota overrides the VSD. So this is the second feature, iotic displacement or the overriding of the iota. And the third feature is the pulmonary stenosis as you can see it here. This is the pulmonary trunk and you can note the stenosis or the obstruction here. So this is the third feature or the obstruction. And the fourth feature of the tetralogy of the phallet is the right ventricular hypertrophy. So this is the right ventricle and the muscle of the right ventricle get hypertrophied. So these are the four features of the tetralogy of the phallet. You can remember it better by a small mnemonic. The mnemonic is P, R, O and V. The P in the pro V indicates the pulmonary stenosis and the R it indicates the right ventricular hypertrophy that is the RVH and the O indicates the overriding or the aortic displacement and the V indicates the VSD or the ventricular septal defect or the shunt. The clinical manifestations of this tetralogy of the phallet mainly depends on the two factors that is the extent of the pulmonary stenosis and the size of the ventricular septal defect. And they are two forms of the tetralogy of the phallet. The first form is the synotic and the another form is the asynotic. In the synotic tetralogy, the pulmonary stenosis is greater and the VSD is mild. As I already said, the clinical manifestations mainly depend on the extent of the VSD or the size of the VSD and the extent of the pulmonary stenosis. So in the synotic form of the tetralogy, the pulmonary stenosis is higher and the VHD is mild so that there is more resistance to the outflow of the blood from the right ventricle that results in right to left shunt at the time of ventricular level and the cyanosis. And the type of effects which are seen in the cyanotic form, so these are the effects on the heart in the cyanotic tetralogy that is the pressure hypertrophy which mainly takes place to the right atrium and the right ventricle because of the abnormality in the pulmonary trunk that is the pulmonary stenosis. In the second one is the smaller and abnormal tricuspid wall. In the third effect on the heart is the small left atrium and the left ventricle. In the fourth effect on the heart is the enlarged aortic orifice. In coming to the asynotic type of tetralogy, in this, it is just opposite to the synotic form, which is the ventricular septal defect is larger and the pulmonary stenosis is mild. So that there is mainly left to the right shunt with the increase in pulmonary flow and increased volume in the left heart, but no cyanosis. And in this case, the effect on the heart are the pressure hypertrophy of the right ventricle and the right atrium 
same like the effect on the heart in the cyanotic tetralogy. The volume hypertrophy of the left atrium and the left ventricle occurs in this case. So remember, in the acyanotic type, there is both type of hypertrophy, the pressure hypertrophy and the volume hypertrophy. The pressure hypertrophy is for the right atrium and the right ventricle, whereas the volume hypertrophy occurs in the left atrium and the left ventricle. And the another effect of the heart in the acyanotic type of tetralogy is the enlargement of the mitral and the aortic orifices. So this is all about the tetralogy of the phallet. To revise this condition, it is the most common cyanotic congenital heart disease that accounts for 10% of the heart anomalies in children. It is a type of congenital anomaly that is mainly the shunt type and which accounts in the right to left shunt that is the cyanotic group. It includes the four main features that has a mnemonic of PRO-V. The P in the PRO indicates the pulmonary stenosis or the obstruction. As you can see it here, there is an obstruction in the pulmonary trunk. And the R indicates the right ventricular hypertrophy. And the O indicates the overreading of the iota or the aortic displacement towards the right side. And the V indicates the ventricular septal defect as you can see, there is a septal defect in the ventricle here and it has two forms. The first one is cyanotic tetralogy and the second one is acyanotic tetralogy. The cyanotic is called as cyanotic because there is an effect in the cyanosis here whereas in acyanotic tetralogy, there is no cyanosis or, or the no effect on the cyanosis. The cyanotic form has the effect on the heart like the pressure hypertrophy of the right atrium and the right ventricle, the small or the abnormal tricuspid valve, the small left atrium and the left ventricle, the enlarged aortic orifice is seen in the cyanotic tetralogy. Whereas coming to the acyanotic type, in the acyanotic type, you can see the ventricular septal defect is greater than the pulmonary stenosis. It is just opposite to the cyanotic type and the heart changes are the pressure hypertrophy of the right atrium and the right ventricle that is same as to the heart effect in the cyanotic type and you can note a volume hypertrophy of the left atrium and the left ventricle here and you can also see the mitral and aortic orifice enlargement. So guys, this is all about the tetralogy of the phallet. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.